organized by the Commerce Directorate of Education, Arts and Culture. The school task force consists of Star for Life and the Ministries of Gender, Health and Education. Star for Life is an organization which aims to empower school-going children. The NBC News team caught up with the task force at CJ Brunt Secondary School during a session about the damages of alcohol and drug abuse and consequences it has on their studies. The learners received tips on how to study, importance of following a nutritional diet, as well as the dangers of unprotected sex. Inspector of Education and Chairperson of the Commerce Regional School Health Task Force, Milton Yaoto, explains why the campaign is necessary. The whole campaign was prompted by the things which happens in society and uh, it seems to me that the pressures from society is just too much. That we came up with this strategy to go into schools where there are many of these issues. The learners are coming up with solutions and your author says they are asking relevant questions. He further urged school learners to remain focused and to guard their dreams against anything that is destructive. The learners are motivated and express their gratitude to the organizers for the inspiring messages. Drugs really doesn't have any advantage. It just breaks you down and feeling good is not a natural feeling. It's just you hallucinate, you see things that are not there, you want to do it more and it just brings you to where you don't want to be. Actually, we learned that we should abstain from sexual activities and so that we can live a longer life. Stay away from drugs because drugs do bad things to us and it, uh, it doesn't help our, the economy of the country to go on. CJ Brown was the second school the Commerce School Health Task Force visited and the campaign will continue with other schools next month.